welcome back to my channel and today we're going to talk about religion and gluten. I'm sure you're sat there wondering what is she going on about religion and gluten? How can you even connect the two? But surprisingly you can. Everyone in this world does follow a religion or has some kind of faith, whether it be Sikhism, Christianity or Hinduism. Whenever you visit a holy place, you always get some kind of offering by the priests, whether it be Pashad in the Gurdwara or a Laddu in the Mandir or bread in the Holy Communion. And you might not be able to take it because if you see bread in the Holy Communion, it's bread, you can't have it. Pashad in the Gurdwara is made of suji, which has contains gluten and sometimes made of atta as well. So you can't have that. And I feel some people who may be very religious compared to some other people may feel they're not being blessed if they don't have it, but there's nothing like that. I mean, personally, I haven't not been blessed by God for not taking the Pashad just because the person next to me did, because I can't have it. I know it's not good for my body, and I'm sure if you are religious, God can see that. Uh, scenario two. Sometimes when I go to the Gurdwara, we're sitting, it's like a whole community of people, and they hand out the Pashad, so just tactfully get up and go out, so it's not disrespectful and you don't take it, it's just better you're not there. Thank you for watching, and I hope this will help you when you visit your holy place next time.